That, that's that's going to be a different story. Uh, you need to know. So yeah, you can see a lot on the map itself, a lot of teams has fallen here. And on the plane itself, there's still a couple of people going in. But you can see from the Flair Kato, our Mr. Flair Gaming, he's actually heading to apartments. Which apartment, I won't tell you. La. <laughs> Which apartment, I won't tell you it is. <laughs> Uh, which apartments I won't tell you lah. Huh? There's a lot of apartments in this game, don't worry. It could be Yasnaya, it could be Georgia Po, it could be somewhere in the middle next to school. <laughs> Please do not look on the screen, huh? So now from the perspective of Flair Kato, we're gonna see him all by himself, which is a good thing. He's gonna be very, very happy by himself. I will not tell you where he goes <laughs> because it's not fair. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have some fun passing this year. But at the same time, we do see a lot. Oh, okay. I see Fade Bro very close by as well, but it's just like one compound, one tower away. So they're gonna be fine right now. Fade Bro is all by himself as well. He's gonna be A okay. Our influencers, our celebrities uh, have a very, very interesting strategy. They are gonna be playing a little side here and then maybe transverse and rotate into the circle. But at the same time here, apartments area right here, we do see a lot of people in here as well. This is going to be a bloodbath here, if you are not too careful. But it's going to be a, pretty much a long fight here. It's considering it is the looting phase right now. Let's take a look at the circle before we jump in. Let's look at the circle. This time, the circle is going to be pushing all the way to the Yas area corner. So Yasnaya corner is one of the I, I would say the easiest to rotate in, there's just a lot of rotation to work with. Uh, there's the Medusa's crossover to work with. All you can need is just a, need a, lot, a couple of cars here. But school area, apartments, rows of people, they are going to be having a hard time considering that the platforms as well as the landscape is kind of open in, in that regards there. So needing to rotate there is going to be quite an issue here. But if you rotate from Star Wars, you're going to be okay. The both cars, well, it's going to be fine. But they are still in the circle. But potentially there are, I did spot out a couple of people in the Georgia Pole itself. So it's going to be quite hard to rotate in this regards. Actually, listen to me, and uh, Flartato, he needs to be very, very careful because his brother in arms is very, very close. <laughs> just as I say that, Fate Pro spy and run away. <laughs> uh, 
as we're here, we're going to be building out as much as possible, scouting the vicinity before actually going for the push here, building up as much as possible. But surprisingly, considering that there's not a lot of people in this game himself, Newt is supposed to be easier here, but at the same time, he's kind of lacking here for some of these players here. But here, very, very smart rotation here. Elvis with the buggy here, rotating in as quickly as possible here, but he needs to dodge all this stuff. He needs to be very, very careful. But right now, it's still the early phase. He's going to be trying to load up as much as possible before going for the final fight. Chicken Dinner having those level 3 helmets, having those level 2 helmets will be a huge factor, as well as sniper rifles here if you want to go for the pick. Let's take a look at January Syla. Is he still there? Is, is, is he somewhere there? How is he doing? Has he gotten any kills, bro? Is he on the last spot, bro? January Syla. January Extra, number 32. He's already gotten one kill. And he's gonna go for another one. He's going for the sprays here. January X round. Going for the sprays here. Can he go for a kill? He's thinking about it. He's gotten one kill so far. 20 points in the bag. But at the same time, he's made a lot of noise here. He's got the suppressor. He's keeping this guy at bay. But at the same time, a lot of people definitely heard his shots here. Need to be very careful about this. Going for a couple pre fights. Ooh, very nice shot there by January X Rao. Can he keep this up? The Chinese do need to be very, very careful. <laughs> because I, I can tell you, this people call this guy Fix Trout. I'm I'm telling you, he's legitly the Malaysian Trout. He's no joke one, not made in China kind of a joke one. So you need to be very careful here. January X Trout, he's making sure he's going for the kill here. He's rotating in from the sides here. Trying to find a proper angle. But apparently, he's just playing still here. Chinese dude. Playing it very slow. But at the same time, the circle is going to be closing in. The first circle is going to be closing in towards Yasnaya potentially here. But we do see a couple engagements here as well. Nate has been lost as well. Ooh, got the kill. And he actually got the kill. Wow. Jenneri, don't believe it! He actually got the Kobe, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Jenneri extra. No joke, no joke. No killing, killing for you, this guy. Of course, alongside Jenneri, it's going to be Baka Jun as well. He's got the two kills himself as well. And he's going to try his best to try to secure himself in the chicken dinner right now. He's got 40 kills so far.
out of cover for him, but at the same time, he's out and open. If one of these players here do scout him out, he's going to be in some trouble here. But right now, there's nobody yet in the vicinity, potentially. So, ladies and gentlemen, here, the Nick 5 0 on the other hand, just getting out of the shelter themselves here. Just have a DP for himself. January Extra, he's gotten three kills already. Yui, 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 yui. Professional Bunky mobile player indeed here. He plays this very, very strongly on the PC, but I've never known he's that good in a mobile. So now we know, showing his power, he's got a gross up himself as well. Will Cortex win or will January win? That's going to be a question. Or is it TTC going for the steal, considering that he doesn't win? But now, a couple of plays here. Fade bro in some trouble! January starts! Shroud is going to punish him. Fade bro in some trouble! Somebody kill him! Fade bro, please kill him! He's going for the beat here. Fade bro in some trouble! But no! Fade bro gets taken down by January X Shroud! Oh my god! Look at his face, Jenner is like, I'm set right now, oh shit, I actually killed a guy. <laughs> oh, yo, 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 yo. And Josette is still alive right now as well. We've seen a lot of people die. 24 left alive. We're going to see how things are going here as well. January X Shroud, guys. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Strong. And Josette still surviving here. She needs to be very careful because there's people around her. She's getting shot as well. Josette doesn't know what happened. And the neat 5 0 gets the kill onto Josette. That's two down, guys. Blair, are you dead as well? Sayonara. So the only one left is going to be TTC. No, TTC is down as well. Oh no. Cortex is all on you. Cortex and January. Last two surviving. You can do it, Cortex. You can do it. And of course, see how this circle is going here. Slowly but surely, people are going to die. First circle here. Quite surprising action here, considering that there's very, very little people. First circle, we've already cut down from 33 all the way down to 22 alive. That's about 11 people dead so far. Orange line here with the Dacia. Gonna be pushing into the circle himself here. It's gonna be A-OK, -okay, but right now he's he did center in the circle. That's gonna be the question here. Mansion. Yep. January. He's got four kills. Got a grows up for himself. He's trying to look for any kind of people here. He did scout out something here from January X Round. Need to be very careful here. Can he go for those plays here? He did scout running for a couple of times here with a suppressed shot. Doesn't connect to GS. GS is Syax. Knows this is January X Shroud now. He's going to be very, very careful, but January doesn't really care. He's going to push up forward. He's been playing this for a long time. He didn't have the angle. He's going for a with the goal. But he's up on GS, taking a lot of damage. Can he go for you? He tries to go for it, and he eventually snipes it on January X Shroud. What a player. He's got the five kills so far. He's in the running. But can he keep this up and get that chicken dinner? That's more importantly, can he get those primes? That's going to be the question here. Now, at the same time, he has a good as well. Getting a lot of points, going for the trade. Doesn't connect to anything so far. But at the same time, Baka Jun hesitant to go for the root trade here. Instantly backs off. Too afraid of January extra, guys. We're down to 19 people alive. The circle is going to be favoring the east side of Yasnaya, north of Mansion right now. And so far, everybody knows where January is. They are very, very careful about this. They are going to be backing off and respecting this boundary that January has right now. They are going to be potentially trying to figure out how to pincer attack him very, very soon. Boka Jun, with two kills so far, he's riding the buggy, almost surviving this right now.
for a couple of fires. He's actually trying to bait some people to challenge him here. Very confident in skill, calling for 10 people, but only getting one here on his way, potentially. Ishimura did hear that gunshots. But at the same time here, Circle is going to be at the Medusa intersection, the southeast area of the Medusa intersection here. As they, it's going to be a lot of open hills with a couple of trees to actually get some cover here. But Ichimura, he needs to be very careful here. Fortunately for PUBG Mobile, proning and snaking in the ground is going to be very easy compared to PUBG PC. So spotting is going to be a hard thing to do here in this game himself. It's fine. MCK going for the James Bond, guys. Mission impossible. Mission impossible. Does manage to get himself in the circle. But a lot of people didn't hear that. They just don't know where he is. Smart decision to just hold immediately on the ground here. But now, January Extra has got six kills so far. And I'm pretty sure he's disqualified later. <laughs> Confirm disqualified because they toy. But oh, oh! January X now in some trouble. Boca Jun wants to challenge him right now. January X now, fortunately for him, he did have that level 3 helmet on. If not, that would have been a dead shroud here. But now, is it going to be Karma is a B here as the Kobe's are coming in? Shroud dodging on the whip here. We'll back off, respecting this. He's going to back off right now. Need that angle here. He gets down, Boca Jun shuts him down. Sayonara. There are a few times here he's aiming for you, but January X Shout, nice try. You better stay using PC. <laughs> Just kidding, bro. Never mind, we'll see you tomorrow also. And of course, Boca Jun, you get a special goodie from me. Whoever you are, you kill January X Shout, you, you better smack talk him later. This is your only time, bro. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to the top 10s now. We are looking for top 3s and the point system. Who is going to be our winner for this PUBG Mobile PG Booth Comic Fiesta 2018 champion first round? We are down to our last 10 here. Circle this is going to be pushing towards the west side, southwest of the of the shelter area here. This compound here is, does have a lot of high ground to work with, so need to be. But he said, get sniped up by Boca Jun, the guy who shut down January, going for the snipe. That's what happens if you make too much noise, ladies and gentlemen. Five kills so far, Boca Jun on the road with this M2. Or, but at the same time, he's getting challenged from Espada. This TP move mode not favoring him as of now. Going for the zigzag dodges and he makes it out live. Very other way here. El Spade reveals his position right now, but he's out in the open with only the tree available. He doesn't have the cover working, but Bokaju going for attack again. El Spade needs to be very careful, but another again. Bokaju, no mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy has got six kills. Seven alive so far. Is Boca Jun going to win it all? That's going to be the question. He might be in the running top three with six kills so far. That is approximately 120 points so far. Getting a second place or maybe a third place may, might be enough to secure him the championship title. Seeing how this is going right now, Boca Jun. Very confident. All the streamers are down right now. January is down as well. He's going to be challenging this right now. Orange Knight, going to be in some trouble. He almost accidents here. Jumps out, going for the glitch here. Orange Knight did hear this right now. Needs to be very careful. He's hiding somewhere. But Boca Jun doesn't know what's going on. He's looking around, playing this very safely. But oh! The timing! Orange Knight wasn't expecting this. Walks right into that. Boca Jun, seven kills. He's keep it going. Six alive. 
he needs to secure top three if he wants to win the championship potentially. He might be our 1,000 ringgit winner here. Of course, we need to wait for our official results later on. But for now, top six, the Nick 5 0 alive as well. Can he get the championship title? He's going to be proning somewhere in the grass, trying to make his way into the circle. Playing this very, very safely. Bokajun looking around, trying to pick off some kind of stragglers here, but doesn't have any type of visual. Ichimura as well with two kills. He knows there's people inside there. Playing this a little bit carefully, but at the same time, not too sure if there's any people around him here to flank him from behind, but he needs to be uh, careful. Does have two kills overall. Couple of first aid. Not gonna be here. with the mini 14. Four comes at the very, very close. He does have a circle, but at the same time, he didn't see the Gilly suit, guy. He didn't see the hit. Yeah, there was a Gilly suit guy behind him. Yep. He didn't see him. It was a hit. With a level 3 helmet. Very, very unfortunate there. We're down to the six, got last six here. The Nick 5 0 surprisingly makes it out alive here. Boka Jun. Still playing in around the minion house, all by himself here. Looking around, but no one is uh, going to push him right now. They are a little bit afraid, but the circle is going to be closing in in two seconds right now. And now, seeing the circle is going to be closing, this is going to be a bloodbath here. Seeing how this circle is going in, this platform particularly, doesn't have a lot of, of cover to work with. But Boka Jun is going to be very comfortable about this, but he needs to be pushed out very, very soon. He's going to be challenged. Nope, Pep Grab gets taken down. Pep Grab has been eyeing for this guy for quite some time, but gets thrown up by the snake here. The Nick 5 0 playing this slow. And Matt Sabu. That is the guy he spotted out. Matt Sabu. Throwing on the ground as well. Everybody is playing the snake game, but he does see this smoke available. So he knows something is up. The teams here know everybody around. We're down to the last five here. Bo Kaju get the first place slot and win this potentially. That's going to be the question here. He is in a very, very comfortable position. We're down to the last five. Boosting up is all these people. A couple of names being tossed around the map here to try and potentially get a couple of easy pickoffs here. But so far, none is connecting here. Ichimaru going to be hiding the hay here. Red Zakro dropping very low, trying to bait some side of shots here. But at the same time, he did see the, the shadow over a couple shots here, but he makes it alive still. Very interesting strategy, trying to use his enemies as bait here for other enemies. Trying to give information for other people is also a smart strategy, but a very, very risky play here. But he does get his compound for himself. We're down to the last five. It's all about the proning game. Patience is of virtue right now. No, Ichimaru did scout out Matt Sabu now. Matt Sabu! Matt Sabu will heal up himself. He's spawning around somewhere. Ichimaru still at the haystack all by himself for quite some time. But instead, gets taken down. Matt Sabu. Oi, 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 oi. With the VSS. Do not look behind, bro. Matt Sabu challenging you. Be careful, bro. So he now we're down to the last four, guys. Matt Sabu, Boka Jun, Ren Zankro, and also the Nick 5 0. Boka Jun. Potentially getting. The top three for sure. Potentially getting the top three for sure. Is he going to be able to get the first spot? That's going to be the question here. If he gets second place, yes, he may be our winner here. We're down to the last three here, ladies and gentlemen. Which of these three will be our winner? That's going to be checked. the question here. Boka Jun, he's in the running here. He's got seven kills. He might be our champion here if he gets one more kill. But can he get the chicken dinner? That's going to be a question here. Proning in this circle here. The circle is going to be quite slow. Going to be open field here. Favoring towards Bo Kajun potentially here. Can he take them down here? The guy that killed January Silar might be the winner here. Potentially here at the PUBG Mobile Tournament. They're all proning, snaking their way through. A bunch of snakes here. Looking for the right opportunity to fight. But Matsabu is nearby as well. Will the legendary Matsabu win? Or Bokajun, the J 
legendary Sylar Killer with <laughs> oh! Looks like the Nick 5 will shut down Boca Jun. Guaranteed top 3 for sure. But is he going to be getting the championship? I do not know. We are going to see the calculations later on. Now, 1v1, ladies and gentlemen. Mat Sabu versus the Nick 05. The guy who killed Josette is still alive, ladies and gentlemen. The Nick 450. The Nick 50. The police is here. Hello, police. Mat Sabu, kau ke mana? Nak mati ke tak? Aku nak tangkap kau. Going, going for a couple of days here. The Nick 5 he doesn't have a lot of mats available. He does have bandages here. He's playing this very, very safely here. I cannot tell you where they are, but he did see a couple of things here. The DAC that does connect a little bit here. So he knows something is up. The Nick 5 respecting this. Going for a couple of days as well. Oh! He's going to be being very happy about this, but Nick 5 does scout him out right now. Matsabu doesn't see him though. Going for another one. Another one. Oh. Not gonna be enough here. The circle is closing in as well. He needs to be very careful. He might die there. And then he gets it. Oi, yo, yo. Matsabu wins this. He gets the chicken dinner. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, the official score is gonna be up very, very shortly. Will Bokajun win the champion? Or will Matsabu win it or the Nick 5 -0. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be taking a very, very short break. We are going to be taking a short break here before we announce who is the winner. Stay tuned, stick around, because why? We are going to be having a special performance right now. PHNX is going to be appearing right now for a couple of songs. Is, are you guys excited to hear some amazing music, guys? No? Okay, it's fine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you guys to clear the area for a short moment because why? Before we announce the official verdict here, PHNX is going to be performing right now. They are going to be setting up their equipment very, very shortly. And we will announce the winners right here, the winners here, right here on the stage later after we calculate the actual points here. But of course, for those of you that does not win this, you can come back tomorrow to try and compete again. All right, all right. We're going to be taking a short five-minute break as of now. But before <laughs> our what our sponsors has to say, let's throw into ads right now.
Confirm, right? The Nick 5-0, ladies and gentlemen. This is our third place winner for the PUBG Mobile tournament. Tomorrow we have another one as well. 600 ringgit, one match. Simple as easy, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, and of course, on second place, we have Mr. Bo Ka Jun. Mr. Bo Kajun, the guy who killed January X Shroud, is our second place winner with a total points of 330 points. Walking away with RM800 ringgit, guys. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, 
for the PUBG Mobile Champion. I would like to invite the legendary Matt Sabu. Matt Sabu, ada tak? Matt Sabu, dah menang. Matt Sabu, Matt Sabu. All right, of course, Matt Sabu, if you're not around, we are going to be giving you a call later on and give you this 1,000 ringgit. So, proud applause for Matt Sabu, ladies and gentlemen. And right after this, right now, you can see all this music instrument set up on stage. We are going to be having a special performance very, very shortly. It is going to be done by PHNX. So, we are going to be starting in five minutes. Before that, oh, actually, on second thought, they are ready. They are ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And of course, and of test, test. And of course, for those of you watching at home, we're going to be cutting the live stream right now here. Thank you guys so much. Tomorrow, we are going to be having PUBG Mobile Tournament as well tomorrow. But for now, here live at Comic Fiesta 2018 at the DG booth. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have... An